Hi, I'm Philip Odell, International Sales Manager here at Telestag. Today we're going to give you a quick overview of the Titan 1608 static side tip truck and loader. Telestag manufacture a wide range of static, wheeled and track mounted rear tip truck and loaders. The side tip truck and loader signifies the next evolutionary step within our Titan range and is the result of extensive discussion and feedback from our global dealers and customers. The unit is designed to receive material from side tipping trailers. This walk around aims to give you a better understanding of how the unit operates and the applications in which it is suitable. So why use a side tipper on loader? Traditional apron feeders do not have great sealing capabilities and cannot be used with a deflected incline section. This results in an additional transfer point and deeper excavations or higher ramps. This conventional design requires more expensive civil works to install and cannot be easily relocated if required. A Titan side tip truck and loader will allow you, the client, to provide a semi-permanent solution that has the added advantage of being fixed during operation but also to have the ability to relocate at a later date. The low profile design means that civil costs are kept to a minimum. This is compared to conventional deep pit apron pan feeder alternatives. If we start with the hopper, you can see that it has a long horizontal section, which then transitions onto an incline section. The horizontal length of the side tip on loader can be adjusted to suit different trailer lengths. On this particular unit, we have an effective tip length of just over 11 meters uh, to cater for trailers with a nine to nine and a half meter length. The hopper incorporates a heavy duty fall brake system which absorbs the impact of material surge from the trailers. This prevents a direct hit to the apron belt feeder by breaking the fall and reducing the impact. The hopper is designed with 60 degree tapers to prevent material buildup and to aid the flow of sticky or high moisture material. The hopper can be lined with the customer's choice of wear liners and in this case is lined with 10 mm thick Abro 400 liners. The hopper is 3.5 meters wide at the top and has a level fill capacity of approximately 50 cubic meters. The total weight of this unit is 70 tons, including all optional extras. The hopper and the ramp height can be adjusted depending on the capacity of the trailers that are feeding the unit. This particular machine has a feed-in height of 2.9 meters and would utilize a ramp of approximately two to two and a half meters in height. The apron belt feeder is a hybrid design that incorporates the strength of an apron pan feeder along with the sealing qualities of a belt feeder. The unit has a 1600 kN chain, 8 inch pitch, joined by heavy duty trapezoidal support bars. The 1600mm wide EP800 5x belt is bolted to these support bars and the whole assembly is powered by one 75kW motor on the non-ramp side of the feeder. The motor is directly coupled to a high torque, low speed planetary gearbox with 130,000 Nm of torque capable of feeding a capacity of 1,000 tons per hour material. A manually adjustable volumetric leveling blade is located at the front horizontal section of the feeder. This regulates a cross-section area of material passing to the incline section of the feeder. The speed of the feeder can be controlled by a variable speed, dr speed drive by adjusting the keypad located on the control panel. The combination of material leveling blade and variable speed drive allows the operator to finely tune the feed rate of the system. The control panel on the unit is constructed from stainless steel and has a powder coated top layer finish complete with an outer enclosure. The panel is IP66 rated and has an onboard Allen Bradley PLC. As the unit has a variable speed drive and will be operating in temperatures of up to 45 degrees Celsius, an air conditioning unit is incorporated to regulate the panel temperature. The unit can either be powered from a three-phase mains power supply on site or from a standalone genset 
if operating in remote areas where power is not available. The unit also incorporates an auto start stop function, including material and truck presence sensing. This allows the machine to automatically stop if there is a gap between trailers tipping into the hopper. This prevents undue and unnecessary wear on the running gear when no material is in the hopper. The system will then detect when the next truck arrives and automatically start the feeder up again. This particular unit also has emergency pull cords around the perimeter of the machine, plus chute block sensors and interlinks to the feed conveyor. A range of other electrical options are also available for the side tipper unloader. For this particular application, the transfer chute is designed to feed onto a 20 meter inclined link conveyor, positioned perpendicular to the feeder. The transfer chute can also be centralized or horizontal if feeding onto ground conveyors. The chute can also be fitted with the same liner options as the hopper. There is an optional walkway to the maintenance platform included on this unit. This allows the operator access to service head bearings, scrapers, the motor and also the gearbox. A range of dust enclosures can be selected for the side tipper or unloader depending on the dust emission requirements on site. What are the typical applications for the side tipper unloader? Firstly, feeding of material from side tip trailers onto ground conveyors as part of a warehouse intake system or to feed a crushing, screening or wash plant. Secondly, feeding of material from side tip trailers to feed a telestack radial telescopic stacker for stacking or alternatively to integrate into an existing stockyard infrastructure. Thirdly, the unit can be used as part of an emergency backup reclaim system to feed onto ground conveyors in a stockyard facility. In this application, the unit can also be fed by multiple high capacity wheel loaders. Finally, the unit can be used to load trains, barges or ships when used in conjunction with other telestack equipment. All Titan side tippers are fully assembled and dry tested in our factory before being broken down and shipped to site globally in 40 foot containers. This minimizes transport costs for the customer to site. In summary, this heavy duty mining specification unit has a high factor of safety included in its design and componentry selection in order to give the client a high reliability and utilization rate. I hope you found this short video interesting. To view our full range of Titan truck unloaders as well as our other products, please visit our website www.telestag.com.